It's my birthday. The clock just struck midnight, and we're uh, in a tuk-tuk with our friend Jenny on the way to the Phuket International Hospital emergency room because I have dengue fever. So, happy birthday to me. Uh, my symptoms include uh, not feeling as perky as I am coming off as at all. I feel like I was just hit by a truck. You know, the first time you go snowboarding and your whole body aches for like two days, that's what my body feels like. They call it break bone disease because it feels like your bones are breaking, which they do. Uh, I have a rash all over my chest and my back. Um, I have a really bad headache. My eyeballs feel like there's knives stabbing them. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty miserable, but it is my birthday, so I'm trying to have a little bit of fun. But uh, yeah, well, if I'm still alive, I'll do a follow up. So now it's 10 to 1 in the morning on my birthday in the emergency room. Checked in. Luckily, we bought Thai health insurance, so that was really helpful. Um, we took my temperature, uh, which was a little bit high, uh, my blood pressure, which was totally normal, and they talked to me a little bit. They said that dengue fever is really prevalent this year because of global warming, so lots of people come in with it. And then they uh, drew some blood, and uh, now we're just waiting for an hour to find out what the results are. I'm sweating a lot, and I don't know if you can tell, I have a rash that I don't normally have which doesn't itch or anything, but it's a really good indicator because I would have just thought that I had the flu and stayed in bed. But luckily these lovely ladies demanded that we go to the hospital. Today we don't sell dengue. No and dengue? No dengue. Mm. Uh, your, your blood health seems like you got viral infection. Uh, they just said that they tested for it and I didn't have it. So, they just think I have a common flu. I wonder if it's if it was a pulse. Yeah. So now it's 1.30 in the morning. Um, we're just leaving the hospital. Uh, they did the blood test and it actually came back negative for thank you fever, which is very surprising because I don't know what any of these rashes are, which is not comforting in the least bit. Uh, but sometimes there's false negatives and it takes a few days for the, it to show up in the blood, so it's still possible um, that I have it. But essentially, uh, dengue fever has symptoms just like the flu, so they gave me all these different fun medications to take, and um, really told me to just rest and drink a lot of water. The fever broke when I came home after the hospital, and I felt much better yesterday, but during the day, this beautiful rash that you see on me started getting worse and worse and worse and started itching more and more and more. So last night I didn't sleep at all. I fell asleep briefly about 7.30 this morning and this rash has just grown and grown all over my body. So something that's really important to know is that when I talked to Dr. Chusek this morning, he told me that I definitely do have dengue, but that the negative result that the hospital got was because I went to the hospital too soon and that the uh, positive result for dengue wouldn't have happened until after the fever broke and the, the rash started. So I called a local doctor here in Phuket and he told me three different methods that work really well. The first of which is Zyrtec, which you're supposed to take in the mornings because it's non drowsy. So you can go to any pharmacy and pick up Zyrtec. The second of which is Atarax, which is a tranquilizer with the antihistamine. So hopefully I can at least get some sleep tonight. I didn't sleep at all last night because I just couldn't fall asleep with the itch. And the third is calamine lotion. This is really helpful. It actually has helped me the most. It's provided the, the most and the, the fastest relief for the itching. It looks a little bit ridiculous. You can't exactly go out in public looking comfortable like this. It'll get all over whatever you're wearing, all over the couch or whatever, but it does provide momentary relief, which is really nice. All right, so dengue fever day seven. It's really almost behind me now. I don't have a rash anymore. I do still itch quite a bit. What can I say about having dengue fever? I would first suggest don't get it. I was never out to get it. I've been putting on mosquito repellent every single time we've gone out somewhere, every time we've gone out somewhere to eat outside and really tried to protect myself against it. It's really hard to pinpoint when exactly I got it. I think I'm getting bit right now. There's four different strains of dengue fever and after you get one strain, you are immune to that strain. But you can of course get the other three, so you gotta watch out for that. So cover up, that would be my main advice. Always, you just gotta make sure to do that. It's funny because you're not covered up. And I think I'm getting bit. So am I. Okay. Mm -hmm.